As you can see, it's basketball time here in Chickasha. Coach Briscoe McPherson has his team ready for this tough Sooner Athletic Conference. The focus has been defense, but he's got some sharp shooters under his belt. Let's hear from him and his outlook on the upcoming season now. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Hi and welcome to this week's edition of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. We're going to talk some Drover basketball with head coach Briscoe McPherson in a moment, but let's talk about the soccer programs first, especially since USAO has two players that have been named Sooner Athletic Conference Players of the Week. Scott Parkinson for the men, a freshman from Liverpool, England, was named the conference's Defensive Player of the Week, scored a couple goals, including the game winner as double overtime was winding down in the game against Roger State last week. And Annie Zock, who's from Moreland, Oklahoma, she was the Offensive Player of the Week with four goals against St. Gregory. So congratulations to Scott and Anna for those, uh, for those awards. Now let's talk about uh, Drover basketball. Last week we had women's coach Lacey Tompkins. This week it's uh, men's head coach Briscoe McPherson. Coach, I can't believe 20 years. Congratulations. Time flies, it's I really guess. Good. It's been a while. It's, I've been here a long time and um, uh, I've enjoyed it. And um, hopefully, you know, we can, we can get back on the winning track this year. So um, uh, again, I mean, that's 20 years is a long time to be anywhere. Well, you played here as a, as a drover a long, long time ago, so been affiliated with the university, I guess, uh, 25 well, or 6 years. Well, actually, I've been here 30 years yeah. as, as an employee. I was the first 10 as the assistant, and this is my 20th year as the head coach. So in all, as a player and everything, probably 33 years, I guess it, it would be. We just love the longevity because uh, that just speaks volumes of, uh, of what you've done for this university. With the national championships, 2002, and have been trying to get back to that uh, ever since then. So. Trying to re redevelop the team again this year. Yeah, we've got you know we got still got a young team. We had a young team last year, and we've got you know I think our team basically made up of sophomores this year. I think we've got seven or eight sophomores, and uh, only only three or four seniors. So we, again, we've got a young team, and, and but the the difference between last year's team and this year's team, we've got guys that actually played and uh, in, in, went through the, the, the league last year, and Thomas Peters and. Uh, uh, um, Aaron Daniels, Philip Harris, Graham Faulkner, they all played and they actually played in games the year before we didn't have that and so we've got some leadership now guys understand what you got to do to to prepare to play in this league and so I think that will really help us. One of the toughest conferences in the country uh, the national champion came out of the Sooner Athletic Conference last year. Oklahoma Baptist uh, won the national championship last year and then they'll and they'll be strong again this year but I think Southern Nazarene is, is the coach's pick to to win the league this year. They've got a lot of transfers in and, and they'll be tough. But overall, from top to bottom, the league, the league will be tough again. And it, it always is. And Southern Nazarene picked uh, the number two in the preseason national poll. And OBU is a top 20 team. And, and so is Oklahoma Christian. And those are just the Oklahoma teams. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the league is just so strong. And um, a lot of times, you know, the, the, the predictions don't turn out like they're supposed to or like they've been picked to. But um, and that's because of the league is just so strong. You never know. You have to be ready to play every night. You never know what's going to happen. And so um, any, any team can jump up and bite you. You know, St. Gregory's or it, some, anybody can win. So it's just a tough league. Coach, let's talk about some of the new players coming in. You mentioned some of the veterans that are coming back. Uh, so some new players that are going to be coming to USAO. Well, we have a transfer I think is going to be really good for us. A, a kid named Solly Butts. Uh, and he transferred from Drury. Uh, about 6'4", and he's a really, I mean, I think he's a team player, really, really classy kid and plays hard, and um, I think he'll, he'll do well in this league. Um, you know, we've got, we've got some size this year. <laughs> I was talking to our president one day, and he said, you know, I understand you've got the biggest team you've had in a long time, and that's true. I don't know if that means a whole lot, but we do have, you know, some big guys, and uh, 
Damon, uh, Damian Lewis is a, a 6'10 kid that won't play till second semester, but you know he's gonna he's gonna uh, cause some problems for some people because of his size. Uh, you know, Brad Ewell's a 6'9 kid that we got in as a sophomore. Uh, so you know we've got some size, and uh, but I think the strength of our team will still be our perimeter players. Uh, you know, Thomas Peters is our top returning player, uh, and I think he, I think he's learned a lot from last year, and he'll be. You know, he'll be even better this year in the league. And so uh, we're, we're just looking forward to getting the season started and just seeing, you know, what we can do. Already have an exhibition game under your belt, so how they how they play? Well, they you know, they surprised me. I mean, we didn't work uh, on shooting a whole lot because I think we're going to kind of hang our hat on defense this year. And that's what we've been working on in practice. You know, for a week, we didn't even do any shooting drills or anything, just, you know, learning how to keep people in front of you defensively and those kind of things. And so we went over to scrimmage Seminole and beat them two out of three halves. And, you know, they, they, that's a pretty good ju JUCO team. And uh, so we beat them. And I was impressed by the way we got, we defended. I mean, we defended them really well. And I thought we did a good job there. And that's how we beat them because we really didn't shoot that well. But again, we hadn't worked on it. And so um, that was encouraging. Be at Southwestern, a Division II school, I guess, next Tuesday? Yeah. And, you know, we, we'll, we'll script. We'll, uh, it's an exhibition. It won't really count. But we, we uh, played them an exhibition last year here. And I think they beat us by one point or something. And so, you know, we're, we just want to go out and find out what we can do. I mean, it'll be a good test for us on the road. Uh, I guess a, a team, again, NCAA Division II school. Uh, so, you know, it's, 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 going, it's right here. It's, it's time to get started. And you're going to play a Division I school here uh, Thanksgiving weekend. They won't be here. It'll be on the road. That's an interesting matchup. Yeah, we're going to play, go to play uh, to Nacogdoches to play Stephen F. Austin. Uh, and so, again, that's a... Uh, we did that last year and played Southeast Louisiana uh, and play, uh, played a game with them. And so, I mean, it's always fun to play those guys. I let, let our guys understand, you know, what, what the big boys are really like. And so it'll, it'll be a test for us. All right. And the season opens. The first official game is? Well, we play, actually, we play in a tournament at uh, St. Greg's. We play a couple of, ga uh, play a couple of games, uh, Texas College and Southwest Assemblies, I think, is who we play over there. And then we'll play our first official home game with, with Langston, I think, on the 9th of uh, November and so you know we'll 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 be ready sounds great coach thanks for your time and looking forward to uh, the basketball season thank you all right coach Briscoe McPherson thanks for tuning into this edition of in the saddle with Drover Sports they open up their home play here on November 9th against Langston University it's military night and we're honoring the selfless men and women who serve our country bring your military ID and you and your family get in free We'll see you there and next time with Drover Sports on In the Saddle.